Tarot 888. This message is for Scorpio. Now you can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Scorpio, this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does maybe and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. Now let's see what's going on in Scorpio. Wait, I was going to say Scorpio season. Some of you guys are looking too far ahead. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are looking too far ahead. For some of you guys, you have somebody that's thinking about what the hell's going to happen in Scorpio season. Will Scorpio have another lover? For a lot of you guys, Scorpio, this particular person from your past <laughs> finds you very mysterious. It's like you are mysterious at this moment. Where the hell is Scorpio spending or putting all their energy in? It ain't with them, I can tell you that much, because they they sitting here wondering, like, where the hell is Scorpio putting this energy? But they walked away from you. And I feel like they're in a deep regret. That's what I'm channeling right now. But look, Scorpio, somebody that walked away from you is thinking about you. And yeah, Scorpio's like, yeah, who doesn't think about me when I walk away? Yeah, yeah, you, we know you're fine ass. The number eight, look at this. Mm. But you have somebody that wants to apologize to you. They want this lovey-dovey energy back again. And I don't think, Scorpio, you're, you're into that. For a lot of you guys, Scorpio, look at this. You have them... This particular person, man. Who is this obsessive person? But the problem with this particular person, look, they got their knife out. It's like they want to backstab you still. But your ancestors are right here loud and clear, and they're attacking this person spiritually. God, the universe is shining the light on this particular person. And all they could do is reminisce. And for a lot of you guys, they're reminiscing on how they hurt you. And they're praying to God, the universe, for another chance. They want you back in their life. But see, I'm here in Scorpio. You leveled up. You're Look at this. From the darkness, you rose. Da, 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 da. And look, you have your eyes to the sky, baby. It's like you're almost just trusting in God and you released. You let go. You said in Spanish, and we're going to do this together. A la chingada with the past. Fuck the past. This translated. But look at this. This particular person is having to face their karma and losing you. This particular person, man, they look, man or female, they look in the mirror and they don't like what they see, who they became. And they're hurt. They want your forgiveness, Scorpio. They can't even sleep at night. Mm -hmm. They're praying and praying and look, even their guardian angel can't even help them. All this negativity, it's almost like... I heard number eight right here. It's almost like what they did to you is coming back to haunt them. Like the number eight as an infinity. What you put out shall return. And they're receiving their karma. They're reaping. Look, they're reaping. They're reaping. And I'm laughing because it's like, holy shit, these cards don't lie. Because it's like in my mind, they're reaping what they sowed. Whatever they planted, whatever they, they put that energy of... of hurt and pain it's like they're having to see this and they're needing the strength to overcome this some of you guys are dealing with the scorpio um a scorpio uh, maybe another scorpio i'm hearing a leo this particular person could have acted all innocent man or female but they had a dark side to them and they're trying to control this 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 side of them and they want communication scorpio do you want communication with this person I mean, I see you, Scorpio, right here healing. This this is a water sign card right here. This Pisces, Cancer. I mean, you've done a lot of healing. Are you, put in the comments, are you wanting this particular person back in your life? I'm hearing the number 333 is going to be significant. Maybe you're seeing that. And you see another number eight right here. And you have a number eight right here. And we have another eight right here. And let's see, we have another eight right here. So some of you guys are seeing eight, eight, eight all over the place. And it's going to lead you, it's going to lead you away from this 
heart and pain. And here's another note that I got from these eights right here. All right. A lot of you guys, this is another message for a lot of you guys. You had the courage to walk away from what no longer resonates. And you did a ritual, you know, you burned a bowl and some of you guys burned shit more than this. It might've been a bonfire with all the bullshit they gave you. Did it just reminded you of this particular person? Mm -hmm. Shit, you almost caught the, the, the forest on fire for some of you guys. You were so happy to burn all their shit. And you started to walk towards what? towards your purpose, towards God, the universe, to what started to resonate with you. And you did face, this is gonna be for my Scorpios that did the inner work. Look at you, you started to look inside and say, what the hell is, you know, holding me back? Cause Scorpio, you a badass bitch, you a badass dude, however it may resonate. And for a minute, you had somebody and they want me to show you this. Somebody that just wanted to fuck with your confidence. Just your light. There's something about your light. And as you face this inner self trauma, this childhood trauma, it's like you did your inner work and you started to feel this power coming against you. Let's look at you. It's like, yeah, I own my dark side and I own my good side. I could be a beast. And it's almost like, you know, when to stand up for yourself to be this loving and kind person but if somebody fucks with you it's like the inner beast comes out of you and you communicate it quick and it's almost like you slap the shit out of them but i'm hearing that just do it with love because some of you scorpios in the past could have put some hands on some people man or female and we don't promote violence here but it was just something that really angered you and it needed this particular person i heard they just push your buttons they wanted to steal your life and this particular person if they put you in a position where you acted at a character by how they communicated with you which affected your inner child their inner demons they're regretting it see they're scared of you and they they, they want protection but for a lot of you guys, Scorpios, this particular person outcasted you with your inner with inner circle is what I'm hearing. And their karma is now they're being, it's almost like God is being the judge right now and whew, is putting them in isolation. And they feel threatened by this new energy that you have. And for a lot of you guys, it's not new energy. It's something that you always carried within. Now, Scorpio, I said Leo earlier. So you might have a Leo that's seeing you shine, overcome these difficulties. Look at this. Holy, holy. This particular person slandered you. This particular person, they couldn't face their inner demons. They needed to do their inner work. But something I'm I'm hearing and I'm channeling right now. Some of you guys, your ancestors are saying this particular person has to face their karma, but they're admiring how you overcame this struggle, this, this inner demons, and they admire you. They're still in this five of pinnacles. They might have a lot of love for you. Some of you guys, they expected you to retaliate so that's why they had that they have their guard up for a lot of you guys to this day they have their guard up they can't confront you they're afraid they're always behind you just watching you and you're probably the one that got away hijo de la chingada and you're running and it's like you got you got your torch and for a lot of you guys you can feel this energetically somebody watching you and you could give two shits is what i'm hearing i don't know who says that but you could care two shits and it puts them in this five of pinnacles where you used to be. For a lot of you guys, you left them the fucking key right there. Said, I don't know, la chingada, and you walked out. Some of you guys had to leave your home, and they might have even slandered, oh, I kicked them out. And it wasn't that you walked away. You had the strength to move forward. 
and see it's <laughs> how the tables have turned. Psalms 23 is what I'm hearing. <sighs> For a lot of you guys, yes, this particular person, they turned your loved ones against you. Out of jealousy. They wanted they wanted to be you. And I keep I keep hearing that. It's like they wanted to be you. And look, they're always in the background watching you. And even if this was your significant other, I'm hearing your partner, your spouse. And it's weird. A woman too, you know, man or woman, how the hell do you compete? You guys are a team. But maybe there was somebody that wedged their way in between this sacred union scorpio this could have been something that really got you in this energy of drowning emotions for a lot of you guys this for a lot of you guys you have new love coming in and scorpio this could be a water sign that's coming in this could be you finding your self-love and yes you had to go through this period of isolation it's almost like you drowned it in your own tears for some of you guys you just you couldn't be found and it's weird because as i started these readings you know leo jumped in first and it was almost like i kept hearing holding up the line and then it went to another another signs but scorpio you were actually for you were next in line and it's almost like you're hiding away from a leo that you had a lot of love for and this is justice. Ooh, look how you're looking at justice. This is karma. They're receiving karma. They're receiving karma, huh? They're all up in their head. This. They're receiving messages too. For a lot of you guys, this particular person wanted to be you and it was competing against you. Like... How fucking weird is that, you know? Your own fucking partner. Your own fucking brother. I could see maybe your sibling being in, in competition with you, but when you have competition with your loved one, somebody you love, that's fucking weird, you know? This particular person wanted to be you, but they can't because it's almost God made you unique and made you unique with this amazing light. There's something about your light. This particular person, look, somebody that loved you, there was guidance behind there, but there was no equal give and take. That's what I'm hearing. This particular person might have been playing games with you, but they can't play games with you no more. I'm hearing epic fail. This particular person is very obsessed with you. What I'm hearing. And we see that card of obsession. Look at this. Where are you at? They're so obsessed. And they're obsessed after they let you go. They want to be you. And it's like, maybe your energy. So for a lot of you guys, this particular person was somebody that studied you. If I'm telling you. If you were in comp if this particular person was in competition, they were your spouse, and you guys already separated, divorced, they thought they could they thought you were they were you, is what I'm hearing. They thought you were you. And what that means, or that's coming in right now is that energy of they thought they were you. It's almost like they they believed they were a blessing. And we all are blessings here, but you complimented this particular person. And you was the light. And this is what they're realizing. This is why there's so much jealousy. And it's almost like they're, they don't understand. After they left you, why things started to fall apart. It's like shit ain't working no more. So you have two cards of somebody spying on you. So they're very obsessed. 14.44 on the clock. So check Google for that. And they're obsessed because look, they wanted me to teach you that. This is you. It's like 
You're not afraid to go out on your own, to be on your own, Scorpio. And they see you worshiping God, the universe, and having this gratitude. Scorpio, put in the comments if this is you. I am grateful. I am powerful. And it's like, how does Scorpio get this communication? But you're very mysterious because look, wherever your guidance, God, the universe sends you, you're quick to run towards where God wants you to go. And they're conflicted about how is this Scorpio moving this way? Why? Por qué? All right, let's see. When it comes to love, when it comes to love, let's see. Some of you guys have had a hard time in love. Some of you guys might have been dealing with the earth sign that, that really hurt you when it comes to love. You might have gave them your all is what I'm hearing. See, your all, you you went all in. You, you try to, you know, make these things work, make this love work. But now, Scorpio, it's like you're almost like you're waiting on God, the universe, to bring in your correct person. And you're taking this leap of faith. You're turning yourself over to God, the universe, to bring in the correct person that's going to collaborate with you, that's going to work with you. For some of you guys, this particular person may have three kids already is what I'm hearing. And you're looking at things from a higher perspective. It's almost like you're stepping into this, your air, your logical sense, you know. You may have air in your chart. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But you're looking at things from a higher perspective. And you do have your sword up. So it's like nobody could come towards you with bullshit. You've gained the wisdom, the knowledge. But look, look at, you have a bunch of ancestors that are surrounding you. And this is bringing you freaking victory. And this particular person in the past that is just watching you, it brings conflict to them. It's like, how the hell can I reach Scorpio? But see, Scorpio... You're already so much in love with the universe. You found the, <laughs> the gold within you. Some of you guys have to work on your sacral chakra. The creativity you have is within. It's like you found love within. Not all these, not just these cups, but look, the treasure within yourself. Some of you guys born on the ninth. I'm here in the fifth. And when you found yourself, look. You, you, you started to embody this energy of the King of Pentacles. Look, the money within you. You started, look at the wisdom. Mm, mm. And you have somebody just looking at you. They don't even know how the hell you're doing this. It's you just trusting your spiritual journey, baby. Put in the comments. I love my spiritual journey. And when it comes to love, <laughs> God wants you to remember it. I, I, for a lot of you Scorpios, it's already embedded in your heart. Holy shit, these cards don't fucking lie. I'm tripping. All right. And they're watching. How is it Scorpio could be so loving after everything I did to them? And you have this ace of cups. And it's just your heart, your love. It radiates just everywhere. And when it comes to a love partnership... It's like a lot of you guys are not settling for no BS no more, no games. It's like, you know, you, you're going to hold your energy. You're going to protect your energy. When it comes to your sexual energy, I'm hearing a lot of you guys are protecting it. And, and you're going to take that leap of faith and waiting for God, the universe, to bring that correct person. And, and I'm hearing Corinthians 6, 18, verse 18. Some of you guys are born on the 6th or the 18th. But you want something, you want a sacred partner. You want sacred love. Put in the comments if this is you, because that's what I'm hearing. It's like you want victory with a particular person that God places in your path. And look, right behind it, it's like, uh -uh, I'm waiting on God's love. For some of you guys, you feel God's love. You have the access to God's love, and you feel it, and you embrace it, and it makes you go wild. And look. Scorpio, what you're not realizing that as you're feeling this inside mm, fire within you and your water sign, it's almost like you may be dealing with the fire sign. They're seeing, this is how you're being seen on the outside. Look at all this 
fire, this creativity that you have moving on and this passion to still keep going forward. And here, look, you, here comes this card again. Someone's watching. You may have a Leo that is watching you in the background and they're in fucking... Mm, I'm hearing they're... Now they feel destroyed. But they might, they're the ones that cut you off. Look, they see you moving on and being guided and it's bringing a tower to this particular person. Why? Because they see you disconnected with the universe and they're wondering why did i let this person go i'm hearing look maybe this scorpio you might be dealing with somebody that's born in july the 6th because seven six is what caught my attention the 16th some of you guys born on the 16th the 19th but look they see you so connected and they see you moving forward and 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 Scorpio, you're not moving forward just in a regular way. You actually on top and total control of your destiny, baby, is what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. So let's see. I'm going to do something different. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, help my channel grow. Let's see what we got. If you're dealing with the earth sign, let's see, in love. If you're dealing with the earth sign, that's Virgo, Taurus, and a Capricorn. What do we have? Let's pull three cards. If you're dealing with the earth sign, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, anywhere in your chart. When it comes to love, let's see. All right. Let's pull three cards. It says right here, look at this. If you're dealing with the earth sign, this particular person is going to be loving or is loving with you. One more card. Yes, you have a little conflict when it comes to this particular person. But look, a lot of you guys, there is conflict. If you was dealing with the earth sign or you will be dealing with an uh, earth sign, you're not sure whether to receive this love or not. But look, you're all up in your head. The universe is gifting you and it's equally, it's balancing this, this scale and it is gonna bring love. For some of you guys that was dealing with the ex that didn't do you dirty, that dirty, you have just separation. You have a lot, a lot of love for, for this particular person and you do want this person back. There is a little bit of conflict, but the universe is making it right. Both of you guys are doing your inner healing work. And it's going to take a little bit of you initiating this, this situation. So that's what we got. All right. If you're dealing with the air sign, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere you chart. If you're dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see. Let's pull three cards. All right. If you're dealing in love with the air sign. All right. So we're going to pull three cards. All right. From the middle. It says right here. Ooh. Scorpio. If you're dealing with the earth sign, you're, you're, you're moving forward. I saw this ring right here and that caught my attention. It's something that you want and it's something you're going to go after. Yes, you are. Look, you got the king and queen. Queen of Wands. So this, this is a match made in heaven. Both of you guys are going to be looking at each other and want each other. And look, there's a lot of love. Wow. The bottom of the deck is you. Huh. So if you're dealing with the air sign, uh, you, you have a lot of love. And there's a lot of chemistry. You want me to show you? There's a lot of chemistry. Mm -hmm. However you see it, look. Oh, Lord. Some of you guys will be making babies because I see the fishes right here. Fertility. There's a lot of fertility. And it could be just that you guys are your equal giving. Yin and yang, I'm hearing. All right. Scorpio, if you're dealing with the fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. All right. If you're dealing with the fire side. Let's see, in love. Let's see if you're dealing. Oh, this is magic. This is somebody you're manifesting or they're manifesting you. Look at this. 
who is going to bring justice into your love life? This is, I'm hearing this is what the doctor ordered. So some of you guys, mm, and then you got this, mm, okay. All right, all right, at the bottom of the deck, this is somebody you've been studying, you've been looking into. Now, you could be a little bit hurt by this particular person. Ooh, that justice card, look at this. Mm, some of you guys, okay, some of you guys in love, you have a particular person, this could be it. This is you, Aries, this is you created magic it's almost like you're you're calling in Scorpio you're calling in somebody and you want justice for what they hurt you for some of you guys this is Scorpio this is somebody you want back you want justice for hurting you you do want them back and you have been paying attention they want me to pull one more card and you do want to nourish it see this is somebody that you want back that did hurt you you might have hurt them and you've been thinking about them. Scorpio, this is a fire sign that you want you want to bring back together. Put it in the comments, baby. If this is you, and you may be seeing synchronicities. One, one, one is what I'm hearing. All right, Scorpio, if you're dealing with the water sign, the Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer, let's see, in love. Let's see, what do we have for you? ask and you shall receive is what i keep hearing so some of you guys are asking for true love but let's see we're gonna pull three cards all right first card right here is okay you got hmm, the three of coins okay oh my god some of some of you guys are working hard when it comes to love look at this pisces at the bottom of the deck let's see there's communication coming in. And Scorpio, you want to work on this relationship. You believe this is your twin flame? Some of you guys got... Yes, you got messages in your dreams. It's something that you, you found out about this particular person and you want to work things out. There's communication coming in. So Scorpio, if you're dealing with another water sign, this particular person, look, you're the high priest, or you're not the high priestess, but you're dealing with the high priestess. They also have powers, magical powers, mysterious powers, and they have a lot of love. This is your, your twin flame is what I'm hearing. They do want to work on things. This particular person has also been working on themselves, and this is what you're going to find out. Hmm. You have a, they're coming in fast. Not only communication, but they're coming in fast. So that's what I have for you. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Help my channel grow, baby. And comment, baby, if this is you. Infinite Tarot, 888.